Let's see, here's a video of, um, actually what I'm really going to be showing is this little guy right here. Uh, this little uh, parallel board, breakout board uh, to charge these little 300 uh, milliamp uh, lipos, two cell lipos for my Blade 130. So if you've got a Blade 130X, uh, if you fly it a lot, I mean, I've probably got like 10 of these batteries. Uh, this little board will let you charge uh, six at a time. I got this from Progressive RC. You can see it's, it also has a little um, a, uh, fuse for charging. Uh, these 300 milliamp, or these 300 milliamp lipos you can charge at about I think it's 1.3, 1.7 amps. Uh, so of course that's per battery. Um, so you can add that up and combine it. Um, if you've got all six plugged in. Um, I usually take the, the milliamp wattage, the 300. And, and you know, divide that by 100, so you've got 0.3 amps. Um, that's like a 1C or whatever. But, uh, you know, so I would do this at like at, uh, 0.9 amps. Um, but of course, you can go over over a 1C rating. Um, on these batteries, these guys are kind of small, so be careful. Check your manufacturer's uh, documentation on them. Um, something I do recommend, though, um, I've got this. It's got a 2S uh, parallel board. I recommend um, always using the, uh, the breakout. It's just simply because up here where you connect your balance leads, you know, you don't want to be trying to to jab a uh, six pin board in here where this typically connects. Uh, so go ahead and use the original one so that you're not jabbing or bending any pins. Um, I've got my, my uh, balance lead coming directly into the balance leaf here on the, on the board and then of course uh, I've got it plugged in the, the 2S slot here. These, the order here does matter. Um, so if you if you plug it into the far left one here, you'll notice in the readout um, up here on the screen, you want to be writing, reading the right cell numbers. I mean it's the same thing technically, um, but if you plug this into a different slot, uh, those cells would be reading on as 9 and 10 instead of 1 and 2. So just just make note of that. Um, you know, put the connections in the right locations. So let's go ahead and, uh, and chart these guys here. Got a little glare on the screen. I'll just tilt it up a little more. Block that out. charge. This is the correct uh, two cell, 7.4 amps. Obviously I do not want to charge at 6 amps. Uh, I could do this at 0 0.9 at a 1C. Um, obviously I've got this charger here. When you're at home, you know, if you've got plenty of time, if you're not in the field, you know, go ahead and charge things at a 1C. Um, you know, it'll give you longer battery life. So I'm going to charge this at 0.9 amps. And go ahead and start. Obviously here I am using the, the, this newer iCharger 4010 uh, Duo. Uh, it is essentially two chargers in one. Uh, here on the left side you can see I could, I could be charging anything else. Um, and this thing will charge in parallel to the two charges up to 70 amps. So you can probably imagine, um, you know, if you if you combine the two the two chargers and you're at the field and you know and you had five or six big big packs, you, you could charge them pretty fast. Um, this thing does need like a 2,000 watt power supply. So again, you can, you can go pick that up over at uh, Progressive RC or or um, Progressive RC online or. You know, got a lot of local um, electronic stores or something, uh, or you can make one. People have also been making them out of um, various computer power supplies. I'm not sure about a 2,000 watt power supply, though. But anyway, this will probably run um, for close to an hour, um, I would guess, at 0.9 amps. Um, 
since that is in the half hour. Um, it might be a little bit less. But anyway, we'll uh, see how it finishes out here.